Hello, 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 and welcome back to my channel. My name is Charmaine. And if this is your first time visiting, thank you so much for stopping by. If it's not your first time visiting, thank you so much for coming back. And I appreciate your support. I know I've been in my ear, y'all. But I am getting back on track trying to get everything together to do a live video. I've been doing a little bit of videos, background, just so I can get some stuff out so y'all can be able to see that I'm still here, y'all. I'm still here. But I've got a lot going on. Uh, so, But I do want to come out and do this video because a lot of people have been telling me that they want to do like um, some trainings with me. They want to do some classes with me or whatever because I am living in Arizona now. So if you're interested in doing any trainings or any classes with me in person, please contact me on Facebook, which is um, Charmaine Hayes on Facebook. Just go into my inbox and inbox me and we can meet up in Arizona because I know it's, it's a bigger it's a bigger state. I was, I'm from Ohio. So it was I was getting people down there too doing classes down in, in Ohio at my daycare center. But now I'm here in Phoenix and I know it's so many people out here that's been crafting and it's just trying to learn how to do the silhouette, the um cricket, sewing, DTF, uh, um sublimation, whatever you want, you know, I can help y'all with it. So I'm trying to get those classes started. I had somebody somebody connected with me on Facebook a couple weeks ago. Well last week. And they have three people. So if anyone else that want, is interested in doing a class with me, just contact me on Facebook, Charmaine Hayes. Okay. And just, just message me. But today is going to be a quick and easy video because my grandson is turning one, y'all. Yes, his birthday is October 21st. Yes. So I had to make him a little shirt. So my daughter was like, he liked the Ninja Turtles. So we're going to try to do a transfer today. A little transfer. I'm going to do my grandson. He'll be turning one. So I'm going to do um, a shirt for him. And I'll probably do a video on how I put the transfer on the shirt. But I really, really want to do a My next video I'm thinking about doing is coming up. I'm going to California this weekend. So um, it's going to be probably be when I come back from California. I really want to um, meet up in California too, y'all. Oh, my God. This move here has been such a blessing because I'm so close to um, California. I got a lot of stuff going on down there. It's, you know, my... Um, my um, clothing line coming out or whatever so i got some hookups in, in in california so i can get my merch and you know my um my um my material my outfits and stuff like that so i'm going to california to do some business or whatever for a business trip or whatever but it's gonna be wonderful y'all so just look out for look out for that be on look out for my um clothing line um it's coming out re, re you know redoing everything starting over um and I have some really good people in California that's going to help me. So, you know, I'm excited about that. So y'all pray for y'all sister. I've been going through a lot, but God is blessing me. And, and I'm coming out on top. And that's all that matters to me. I got my peace. And I'm coming out on top. And I'm happy. And I'm, I'm able to accomplish the goals I need for my business, um, for my just for the, my growth. You know what I'm saying? Um. I love it. I love what I do, and I love helping y'all. So whenever, if y'all have, if y'all down here in California, if y'all here in Arizona, any quite close, you know, anywhere close, let me know, and I will be able to help y'all, you know, do y'all training. And if y'all not close to me, we can do a one on one on Zoom, or Teamster, or whatever you want. We can do a one on one through the um conference calls or whatever. So let me know. Let me get to this video, but check out my website, my Etsy page, Charming Gal Boutique, where's my adult um clothing line and t-shirts and everything else i make but also have a children's clothing line okay so check that out too um it's called a ray of sunshine and and i'm gonna make this shirt for my son my grandson today he's going to be turning one today but my video i might be doing um when i come back from california i will be doing a video as far as doing making i need a mouse pad and i want to make me a water bottle for my job i got to meet a new job and i'm in, i got my own office so i can't disclose where i work because it's for the government i work for the government state so it's like so i need to i want i got my office so i really want to make me like a mouse pad to go with my water bottle so i might do that that might be in the next video so let me know what y'all want me to do the next video on my live video so we can talk chat y'all can see my face we can get it together get, get it done on a live video so just Comment below what y'all want me to do in my next video. And also, if you look in the, um, if you look down below, you'll see all my links 
you it's some links down there that has like your um discounted um stores and um DTF you can get the DTF um a discounted price different kind of graphics for different um, discount price so, like I said all my stores all my links my Amazon links everything is down there below so check it out y'all check it out please follow me on TikTok y'all I'm trying to you know do more videos on TikTok and Instagram so all of my links is below all right me stop chit chatting y'all I miss talking to y'all I know y'all hear me but I can't see y'all today but I will be seeing y'all pretty soon okay so let's go ahead and go here we in Canva of course it's a link below telling you about Canva you get a discount price using Canva. Canva is a bomb. You can do so many things with Canva. Like I make all my shirts with Canva, all of my you know, all my images for Canva. I mean through Canva for shirts and journals. You can see right here, I did journals. What is this? I don't know what that is. Maybe that was oh, I think it was a journal too. But all kind of stuff. This is images for my shirts. Um all kind of stuff. I got DMX. I make um check out my video. I did some videos with Beyonce. I think I did a um showed you how to do a shirt with um Beyonce, um with DMX, Tupac. I got a lot of videos on that DTF machine. So check out my videos. If you this is your first time coming, you check me out, y'all. I got over a hundred videos, over a hundred thousand subscribers, and I love y'all. So go ahead and please click on that subscribe button, hit that red bell so you can be notified when I do new videos. Look at that, y'all. I did all of this in Canva. These are journals. I do I, if you want to check out my journals, my my planners, my calendars, I do I do all that. So I got videos for all of that if you're interested in doing anything like that. Um and it's all through Canva. All through Canva. Okay. I did just did a video um, a couple of weeks ago let you know I am an author also and I wrote over twelve books. So I also showed you how to you can go into um Amazon and um make your own books. I think it was Amazon or KDP. I did a video on that. My last video before this one, I did that shows you how to do that. And even if you don't want to write a book, you can do a journal and they'll print them out for you. Um, self-help books or whatever, some small, anything diary, you know, journals, uh, poetry books, you could do all that. And I showed you how to do that on my last video. You could just get it printed out and you can get paid for that. Y'all, um, put your work out there and get paid for it. And they can print it out into a book form for you, send it to you. And then you can, they can, people can go on Amazon and purchase it or whatever. And you can get that money, get that money, money. <laughs> okay. Let me stop chatting y'all. But if y'all got any questions, just let me know if y'all need help or anything by publishing a book. I said, publish all my books, except for one of them. I had a major company, um, publishing company, um, publish my last book. So check me out on Amazon. My links below from, are below for my books also. So ch check me out y'all. I'll be doing my thing. I'll be trying to do what I got, what I do, do what I do. And I love what I do, okay? Okay, so let's go in here. So basically, my daughter wants my son to have a, um, he loves Ninja Turtles. He's about to be one years old. Shout out to Zayden. So he's about to be one years old. So I just looked through, basically what I did, I go to Google and I just put Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on here, transparent background. This is all that shows up, okay? So just be careful when you go on, on Google because they people be tripping, you know, as far as copywriting or whatever. But I'm making this for my son, my grandson. So I'm not selling this. I'm making it for my grandson. But people, they people sell stuff like this. So just go on your own precaution. Do how you feel what you want to do. I'm not trying to tell y'all nothing wrong, but I'm making this for my son as a gift, my grandson as a gift. Okay. So all these are pretty cute, and I really want to have a um image with the turtles is already in there. The the name, I mean, the name is there, so I don't got to worry about you know getting rid of that. Or making that name is already in the picture, so that's what I'm trying to find something with the Teenage Mutant Turtles name already there. This is cool right here. Um, most of these you can get the backgrounds off. Some of these I've been looking and I've been trying to get the backgrounds off, and sometimes it still stay. But I think that's Google doing that, so people won't um, basically have these and sell them. That's why they're doing it. Because before, if you go into removebackground.com. It would get all this background off of there, right? But now, and then also, Canva also has a, um, you can go in there and Canva and, and remove the background. I'm going to show you that in a minute. But it's making it harder because, of course, the people, you know, trying to sell these images, right? So let me click on one. I right click on that and see how the image is it got this stuff in the background. We're going to try it because I, I already tried to do this before and it didn't work. But I don't remember what image it was that I got from here. So we're going to just try this one. So what I do is you write, you, um, Right click it right here and you go ahead and go to um save image as and what I do I save it in my desktop right here you'll see desktop and it'll pop up on my desktop so I'm gonna go ahead and say it save but I already think I saved it. Oh it's gonna save. Okay, so see how that showed up right here without that background is it's like it's transparent. 
But I thought it was transparent too, y'all. But when I went in COVID, I was about to say COVID. <laughs> when I went in Canva, it wasn't. So we're about to check this out and see if this is the right one. If not, we will see what I'm saying to you if it's not the right one. Okay, so but what happened was it's, it's right here. This image is right here. Okay. So let me go ahead and go back. It's my desktop. So I'm going to go to Canva. I'm going to do a 10 by 10 because my son, he's only going to be, I'm going to call him my son. He is my son, son, my grandson. He only one, so he's small. So it's going to be a 12 month t shirt. Um, and I might, I don't know what color I'm going to put the shirt on, what color I'm going to put the um, DTF on yet. But we'll see that too. I can show y'all that too. So here's the uploads. So this is the one I did already. So I'm going to upload the one I just got off of um, Etsy, I mean, off of Google. Which I really don't have to. I'm just showing y'all. This is how I got it. This is it's on desktop. And when I, I just find the image, then I click on it and I put it inside. But I'm not going to do that now because I already have it in here already. Okay, so I'm just going to cancel it. And it pops up right here. Okay, so let me just show you how it was. This is how it looked when I first got it in here. And I'm going to show you how to remove the background. Let's see if that's going to work. Because yeah, this I think this is the one that didn't work. So let me go ahead and go to edit, photo. Then right here, it says BG remover. So I just click on that. It's supposed to see how it shows you that it removed it. But let me show y'all this. I thought it removed it, and I'm pretty sure this is the right picture. But then I went and I went ahead and saved it, and it, and it popped back up. And this is weird because this never happened before, right? If it's white, it should turn out white. But watch, y'all. Watch, it's going to turn out the correct way. Watch. Let me see. Maybe it won't. Let's see. So I'm going to go ahead and push download. I'm going to do transparent background. I'm going to put download. Let's see what it does. Maybe it's going to work this time, but maybe it's not. We're going to say, oh, it works. See, now <laughs> they got me out here thinking I'm crazy. But right here is showing you that the background is not on there. But I tried this before, and it did not take the background off. It showed it on this screen right here that it was off. But then when I popped up here, it had some spots in the background still. So maybe that maybe my computer was doing some some funky or whatever. But see how Canva does remove the background, okay? So, I see it's going to make me out of fool. It made me look like a fool, y'all. But I'm just trying to show y'all because it, it, it shocked me. I'm like, why did I remove the background and this stuff, that little that little pattern right here? It was still behind the picture after I downloaded it, but it was not showing up right here. Okay. So, let me um get this out the way. Okay, there you go. So, let me check and see. I'm going to delete this and see if this one's going to do it. This one's the one I've been using. Let me see if this is going to show up. No, I think this one's the right one. This is the one I want. This is the one I want to use because they look more. They they doing extra stuff. Let me download this one and see what it's gonna do. Like I showed you before, so I'm gonna go ahead and push um download. See, I'm just showing y'all because I want I don't want y'all to get stuck and don't know what to do. So I'm trying to show y'all what I've experienced. And now it's going to show me. See, now it's, it's doing this right. So maybe it was something wrong with my background remover. Maybe it was something wrong with my computer because now it's working correctly, y'all. Okay, so I just want to show y'all that real quick. So let me go ahead and um get this one together but i was shocked like why did it do that i was mad because i did a whole de design and the background was still on the i mean that little this crap right here was still on the back of it but it didn't show up right here on the screen it showed up after i downloaded it so maybe it was just a glitch in the screen okay let me know if that happened to y'all before that never happened so i'm making it a little bit smaller because like i said it's a, it's a little little belly is small his little shirt is small so i'm gonna put it about right here and then his name is Zayden. This is going to be a quick and easy video. That's why I was trying to show y'all, you know, stuff that I experienced. Because I know it's going to be a short video. So I was like, mm, let me go ahead and just tell y'all what I experienced just in case it happened to y'all. But so it's a quick, it's really quick to do a shirt. Especially because I'm not going to really put background in it. Let me show y'all some more stuff that I've done that I had the background. But it's a kid's shirt. So um, with that being said, like, let me show y'all these. These I put background in the back of it. So let me just see. I could make it bigger so y'all can see it. Like, uh, like my adult shirts. You don't want it to be so plain. So I put where I do it on my like for this Steve uh, Steph Curry. See how that's that's a background back there. I'm gonna go to another one just to show y'all what you can do in Canva. I got a lot of videos on Canva though too. But um, look at DMX. That's, see that black round, that background like the clouds in there. So I put that on there because it's a dark. But with my grandson, I'm making it simple for him. And it's and I'm gonna do all that background because I mean you can if you want to. Because I did a kid's shirt with a background. Let me show y'all a kid's shirt right here. You see this shark right here? Let me see if I can make it big without putting on the shirt. You no. Know? Um I made that um for a little little guy in my daycare for his birthday. That's some background on there. 
But I really don't think that I need any background for the Ninja Turtles. It looked cool because it's a lot of them. It's a lot of little characters on there. So it's like, why why should I put a background in there? And like I said, if I was if I was selling it, maybe I would just make it more. But it's for my grandson. He's going to love it because his nana made it for him. See how I did that background for um Tupac? And it was also, I do the background just so you can be able to hide the imperfections. See, look right here. Well, I don't want to mess up the picture. But back here, you can see how body, his body would be cut off and it'd be like a square. You don't want, you don't want, you want your pictures to be full and nice. And then without this background, it'd just be like, it'd be like boxed in and basic. So if I can show you, let me see if I can move this out the way so you can see it. If I didn't put this here, you'll see how, look at that. It's all boxed up because it's cut. The picture was cut. So it's like, you don't want that like that. You want to make sure you cover the imperfections up so it can look nice. That's why I did that. But the turtles, it looks good without all that on there. So let me go. I mean, I'm not going to save it because it's messed up. But I sell all these. These are all DTF, all DTF images, right? So if you want, if y'all want these images, y'all want to make it yourself, just go to my Etsy page, Charming Gal Boutique, and you can. I'm selling those images, okay? All these images you see, with Mary J. Blige, um, Jordan, all these you see on here, I sell these. And I just put a little background here i'm just looking kind of spacey over here it should be over a little bit like that see <laughs> i'm gonna say that one because i like the way that look now let me save um and it's gonna save right back in here where i, where I got it from so just giving y'all a little clue of what it looks like some capital but like i said y'all can go on to my my other videos and i have i show you directly um well i show you step by step how to make these designs okay um okay let's finish the video let's see if i can find it when i was working on let me see probably gotta start do it all over again y'all yep i gotta do it over again is that it what well, it's not hard to do it just gotta pick pick the design but let me go back to uploads and just throw it on here real quick and then i'm gonna just go ahead and put his name i'm gonna put happy first birthday to zayden on there and we'll be done with this video and then, like i said um basically i have a lot of videos on dtf basically what you do is after you make this image you just basically save it to your, your computer and you put it um under making sure it's a um p png and then you just make sure you no background to it and then you just basically put it in your dtf machine in your printer the computer you use for your dtf machine because you cannot use my um a mac and i'm using a mac right now for this video but you cannot use a mac for the dtf machine so, um, like I said, you can check my videos out and you can, sh and I can show, I show you how to get an image off of Canva and put in your DTF machine. I show you how to, um, print it out the DTF machine. I show you how to heat it up in the heater for your, your DTF heater. And then I actually also put it on the, um, heat press and press it on the shirt. I do all that, but today I'm not going to do all that on this video. I'm just going to show you how to design this shirt and you check out my other videos to show you how to put it on a shirt. I feel like I'm rambling, y'all. Let's get it going. Okay, so I'm going to put a um, heading right here. And I'm going to put it up here. Just drag it. Make it a little bit bigger. And then make your cursor. And bring it up here in the top. Make sure in the middle. I see that purple line makes it in the middle. But I'm going to change it because it's going to be bigger. So I want it to be green, right? So I'm going to go to um the colors right here color wheel and it has all the colors you see inside of this right here it's kind of so sweet look at this it's all the colors right here so i want it to be this color so there you go right there then i'm gonna click on it twice and i'm gonna delete some of the heading i'm gonna put his name and stuff in here okay okay so i'm just put a happy birth of oh, first let me see first birthday Then I'm gonna put Zayden at the bottom. Zayden. Okay, so then I'm gonna make it a little smaller because it's a little bit too big. So bring it on in. Get that little cursor thing. Move it up. Here we go, right here. Make sure it's in the center. And I'm gonna change the font, y'all. Um, I'm gonna look and make it look a little bit like the, the turtle turtle sign. Maybe I should have changed. I can highlight this like this. And I'm gonna go over here to my little. Let me see. What is it? This one? No, right here. And I'm just going to find a thick font. So I'm going to say thick. And it should come right there. It is right here. And I don't remember. Maybe it was this one. I don't remember what font I found before. But it was pretty cool. It really, really matched. But knowing me, I didn't write it down. So I'm just going to pick out one. You just go through it and find which ones you want to have. Which one you want to use. For your... Dude, that's kind of cool. That one right there is cool. 
Mm. Yeah, I might just do this one. Is it this one, y'all? Yeah, I'll just use that one. Okay. So, let me see if I can make it smaller. I just push delete and I'm gonna put a T right there. And I'm gonna bring it down some to make it even. All right here. And let me see how it's gonna look with some. Let me see. Okay, now listen. I'm oh, sure listen. <laughs> listen, Linda, listen. Okay, so this is how it's gonna be. But then you can also click on the background right here so you can be able to see what color okay, what color shirt you want to put it on. So I'm gonna go here to the color wheel and maybe if I want to put a gray shirt, a black shirt on this, how it's gonna look with the black shirt. Okay, it's gonna how it's gonna look on top of something black, okay? Uh, if I want the gray, that's how it's gonna look. If I want the blue, which I think I'm gonna do blue. Oh, that blue look, I don't know. What you think, y'all? Do y'all think should I do the black or the blue? And I will be checking this video out because I'm not going to be doing the shirt in a couple more days. So let me know what color y'all think the shirt. Y'all can help me by letting me know what color shirt I should put on the back of this. That blue, like, it's kind of blending in a little bit. But that black, I don't think I want a black birthday sh a shirt for a birthday party. You know what I'm saying? So let me go back to color. Put, click on this and let's go back here. So this is the blue. That's the black. I uh, don't know about that. Gray. This gray is cool. But I'm looking for a birthday shirt. Let me see a red shirt for a little boy. That red is bright. I don't know. So what y'all think? Tell me below the comments what color should the shirt be. And I will be grateful for y'all help because then I will pick what I need. Whatever y'all, what I get the most um comments from, okay? Here's green. Of course, green ain't gonna work because it's got green letters. Or do I, should I change the letters to a different color and make the shirt? No, I don't want no green shirt on top of green turtles. So not not nah 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 nah. So I don't want, I really don't want black, but if y'all say black that I have to do black. What? So I might do um blue. That's my son in the background. Blue, um not too king about black and then red. So let me know below what y'all think I should do, what color I should have the shirt be, okay? So this color the background is the shirt, okay? And of course we um I get my shirts for um from jiffyshirts.com but i'm also getting a lot of stuff from arizona now because they have a lot of different um stores down here they got wholesale store down here it's just so much stuff down here it's just a, down here you know bigger states you know i was from ohio so down here you can get so much stuff done with your businesses right so they have a lot of wholesale stores down here and like i said i'm right four hours away from california so sure it's gonna be getting it's gonna be good y'all it's gonna be all good so I can't wait for the blessings to come. Look at, this, look at that. You can't find out shirt that color, though. I'm going to just delete the background. So this is how it's going to look. And then basically, you size it the way you want to size it. Um, if you want to make the name to be bigger, it's fine. But it's a 12-month shirt, so I'm not going to do that. So this is it, y'all. This is all I have to show y'all. But I'm going to show y'all how I'm going to save it. So I'm going to go ahead and push share. And I'm going to go ahead and push download. And right here, make sure it says transparent background. And then you put download. And it's going to right to my desktop. There it is. And it's going to, of course, it's going to be a white transparent background. It's just how it looks right here on my, um, on my, what's the name, on my computer. But it's going to be white, okay? Any questions, anything y'all want to ask me, please put it below. I need help on what y'all want me to do next. Like I said, check out my Etsy page. Check out my TikTok. Check out my, uh, instagram and email me or either inbox me on well message me on facebook and let me know if you want to do any classes one-on-one -on -one classes with me and i can send you the price of how much it costs for you to do a training a class we can also do it on zoom or teamster however you want to do it and we can get it done and like i said i do dtf i do um sublimation sewing um cricket Whatever you want, just check out my videos. And you're like, well, sure, man, I can't really. Um, your videos is cool, but I need you to do a one on one with me. Just check out my videos and I can help you. We can do buying, we can do journals, calendars, whatever you want to help you with your business. If you're just doing it for craft, if you're just crafting, that's fine too. Whatever you want, I can help you with because I love helping people. Okay. I love helping you and I appreciate y'all for rocking with me. I know I ain't been on here. You know, I said life been life and I got a lot of stuff going on in my life, but I'm back on my feet now and I'm ready to. 
you know, conversate with y'all over on, on a live video. So that's coming up next, probably next week sometime, because I'll be going out of town this weekend. So I'll probably be back, you know, give me about a week, y'all. We're going to do this live. And I can't wait to see y'all names pop up on my screen. And I can say hi to y'all and shout out to y'all. And thank you for all the people that's um, been rocking with me since day one. I've been doing this for like four or five years now. So I appreciate y'all, and I appreciate y'all checking on me to see how I'm doing. I'm good. God got me, and I'm blessed. That's all I can say. I'm blessed. And, um, and I appreciate y'all. So that's it for this video. Until next time, be blessed.